Eat my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Hello everybody out there. Uh, coming to you today to make another video. This is my son Landon. Landon Coco Farmer. <laughs> this is my son Nico. Come say hello Nico. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. So, um, a quick, quick, yeah, quick video today um, with the title of the day for uh, July uh, twelfth, uh, two thousand fourteen. Um, um, this is a. I think it's a pretty good one, and it, it's pretty quick to go over. Um, um, we are God's words, right? In Psalms nineteen fourteen, it says, "Let." Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. All right? And then we see in Genesis uh, 2, 7, it says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay, and then Psalms 48, or 40. Verse 8 says, I delight uh, to do thy will, O my God. Yea, the law is within my heart. Okay, The word is in our heart, um, which is, makes us the word, right? Um, his words are in us. Uh, Psalms 119.11, uh, Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Okay, so we are God's words in, in this world, right? Um, Jesus is the Word, okay? Uh, for like First John uh, one one, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And it's not the bird. It's not the bird. It's the word. <laughs> <laughs> the bird is the word. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Jesus is the word. Yeah, Jesus is the word. What? Um, <laughs> I said it's not. I said, I, I said it's not bird. <laughs> okay, next part. Uh, God, God spoke us into existence with His words, and we see that in Matthew four four. But He, uh, uh, He, saith and said, it it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We live because of the word. Um, and then we see that in Genesis uh, 1, 26, it says, And God said, let's make man. And each time that God said something, that was a part of creation that was being made. Um, okay. Uh, Jesus is in all of us. Um, the word is in us. And we can see that in Galatians 2, 20. Um, I am sacrificed with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Okay, so we see that, right, about the word. Now this is really, I said all that just to, just to point this out. Um, think about, like, people talk about the decim um, um the abomination of desolation. And a lot of people believe, you know, it's the temple, the third temple, and, you know, the Antichrist will go into the third temple. But a lot of other people believe that it's something that has to do with us inside, like changing our DNA, right? Changing ourselves with the mark of the beast somehow. Now, think about it like this. Um, um, anyone who adds to or takes away from uh, his word, us, Jesus, or the words are are, yep, are um, anyone anyone who adds to or takes away from his word or the words are to be accursed, right? And we see that in Second Corinthians two fourteen through seventeen. Now thanks be to be unto God which all, always causeth us in triumph in Christ and maketh manifest the uh, Savior of his of his knowledge by us in every place 
For we are unto God a sweet Savior of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish to the one we are the Savior, Savior of death unto death and to another the Savior of life unto life and who is um, sufficient for these things. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God but but as of sincerity but as of God in the sight of God um, we in we in Christ okay so they are trying to corrupt the word of God which is us it's inside of us so you see that anyone who tries to corrupt God's word is to be accursed and we see that in um, Revelations 22 18 through 19 for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add unto these words God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man uh, shall take away from the words of this book uh, of the prophecy of this book God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book okay so when when they're trying to add something to us as believers that's why it's it's it can be damning if you receive the mark of the beast <laughs> if you receive the mark of the beast and it changes something in you you know and it's not believers can't receive it you know some preachers are out there saying that that um you can receive the mark of the beast and still go to heaven and still be okay but that's not true because it's going to genetically dna wise something change in you right okay um and it's, I just thought that was very interesting that, like, he says don't add to his word or take away from his word. And Jesus lives in us. We have the Holy Ghost in us. And because of that, and thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And because of that, um, it will, it's changing the word, right? Because Jesus lives in us. He's the word. He's in us. And if it gets changed, then, then it, it messes everything up. And it's anyone who tries to do it is to be accursed, right? Okay. Well, um. That's the title of the day today. I'm glad y'all got to see my sons. Um, I will be back again tomorrow to make another video. Um, God is love and I love God. Wake and watch for Yeshua. Amen.